What's going on, guys? Gen 1 here, checking in. And uh, guys, I, I've been telling you, I've got a little surprise for the channel. Actually, I have one more surprise for the channel, but right now we're just gonna start with this one. And guys, I have been itching to get this out of the box, all right, guys? Uh, and you know, I don't want to make the video too long again, you know what I mean? Because I know my attention span is not very long, guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna get it right out of the box. I'm sorry if I just start yapping, you know, but all right, come on. All right, what is it, guys? What is it? Ah, anticipation. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the TFL. Carbon Pursuit, guys. Why did I get it? Why? Well, simply because I had a Sonic Wake and I had a Geico, you know, and I was just like, you know what? I want a good boat. I want a carbon boat. I want a strong boat. And you know what? The mono was what I want. I just wanted a mono real bad and I wanted a good mono. So I went with the TFL Carbon Pursuit. I did my research. I looked into it and, you know, it's just what I wanted, you know? Uh, you guys let me know, drop a comment. What are your opinions on this boat? How do you feel about the boat? Uh, of course, you got the typical goodies in here, some tape, you know, boat stamp, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I wanna see the boat. <laughs> oh, man. As you guys already know, I haven't been in the hobby very long, but uh, I did my research and I just feel like this was the boat for me, guys. You know, so I just wanted it, got it. All right, get to, for the channel, of course. Oh, wait. I'm gonna pop this one and uh yeah we're just gonna pop it out of this box you know do a quick unboxing and uh let you guys just have a look at it you know oh man so we're gonna pop this one back all right cool I want to thank Brandy, my uh, drone expert, for helping me out here. <laughs> so we're going to pull this out real slow, real slow. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, man, this thing is nice. You know what? For the sake of uh, saving some time here, I'm just going to put it right on that phone. And uh, maybe like this. Whatever. Well, you guys can kind of see it there. But, man, real glossy, real nice. Man, look at these tabs. Oh my goodness, just compared to the Sonic, these tabs are just a monstrosity, guys. Wow, look at the Stinger, okay? I, you know what, I have the other TFL Stinger on my Sonic, which you guys, I'm sure I've already seen. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm not crazy about that Stinger. So I hope that this one's a little better and easier to adjust, and it kind of seems like it is. So I'm super psyched, guys, I'm super psyched. Guys, look at the thickness in this rudder mountain bracket. I mean, look at that thing, how nice it is. And they, you know what, they shave off the center here to save some weight, which is really, really cool. You know, these are all CNC aluminum. Uh, these are the brackets for the turn fins, uh, which will, you know, pop right into those in a second here. But hey, guys, let's go ahead. You know what, actually, let's look at the bottom. All right, so yeah, it is, it is a full V-hole, okay? Um, really nice, really nice, guys. Uh, I, I was kind of hoping, I will tell you, I was kind of hoping that this was step, but it's not. You know, I know the Dominators are, you know, but not a biggie. I know, you know, we've seen this boat run before. I've seen a few videos on it, and oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, so we did opt for the 4082 can, 1650 KV, and 180 amp esc monster guys monster this is a pretty big motor here all right uh so we have our tray here for the uh servo okay which you know if you guys want you know let, let me know you know comment below if you guys want me to make a tech video on how all this stuff is gonna go on let me know guys let me know how you feel okay uh, but like i did say i was gonna keep this video short and i am gonna you know uh keep that promise all right and uh but yeah man this is really really cool oh man this is really nice check this out so it has like a little tab here and it kind of slides in here you know and then i guess you can just kind of use some tape to keep it in place but guys check this motor mount out you know so the entire motor mount setup here is carbon 
okay which is really really neat okay uh, i think it has an extra layer of carbon here where the uh motor mount and the battery tray is oh man that battery tray is full carbon it's just really really nice guys all right so you've got your water exits uh looks like we have just one just one guys uh so we're just gonna have one inlet from the rudder okay and then uh, it's just gonna exit over here uh you know re really nice boat really nice boat and you know simple simple and nice this is what i'm going for here all right guys but i'm super super psyched and i'm glad you guys are here with me uh you know along for the journey you know and uh, like i said gen one is still growing you know we're about four months in the hobby uh and we're going strong i love it i lose sleep over it you know and so <laughs> forth all right so thank you guys so much for being here and sharing these moments with me and uh yeah, that's uh, that's our TFL pursuit. That's our our big surprise. <laughs> one of our big surprises, and the other one is coming soon. All right, guys. So stay tuned. All right, and uh, Gen One checking out.